contrary to an earlier report which states that Tinobu invited the House of Assembly members from Ondo State to Abuja to have a closed-door meeting with them yesterday and that Tinobu has decided to replace Akiri Dulu with Loki Ayeditiwan. The presidency has spoken and they are countering those, should we say, rumors or allegations. They are saying that Tinobuna is never going to support Ayeditiwa. Ayeditiwa still remains the deputy governor, while Rotimi Akere Dulu remains the governor of Ondo State. We shall get into the details, but for now, welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or this is your first time here, please subscribe. Join this amazing community we have here. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by liking this video. Leave your opinions in the comment section below as well. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news. Rotimi Akere Dulu still remains the Ondo State Governor, Tinobu speaks. Newsroom Nigeria reports President Bola Ahmed Tinobu has declared that Rotimi Akere Dulu's son will remain as the Governor of Ondo State, while Loki Ayedatiwa remains as his deputy. News from Nigeria gathers that this decision was made after a meeting between Tinubu and Undo State stakeholders at the presidential villa on Friday. Tinubu's decision was made known in a statement on Saturday by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Ajuru Ingelale, amidst reports that the president may have ordered the state lawmakers to invoke the doctrine of necessity and declare Ayeda Tiwa the acting governor. In the statement, the presidency affirms that Akiri Dulu remains the governor. The statement reads, in its bid to restore political stability in Undo State, President Bola Tinobu late on Friday waded into the months-long crisis between factions loyal to the executive governor, Rotimi Akiri Dulu, and the deputy governor, Loki Ayedatiwa. This followed marathon negotiations between the president and the deputy governor, representatives of Governor Akiri Dulu, federal and state lawmakers of Undo, officials of a state chapter of an all progressive Congress and other stakeholders in the state at the State House Abuja. The President advised all opposing parties to bury the hatchet and embrace peace, eliciting commitment to these effects. This means that Governor Akere Dulu remains the Chief Executive of the state, Aye Datewa remains Deputy Governor, and members of the State Executive Council continue their respective duties even as the leadership of the State House of Assembly and the APC chapter in Ondo State is preserved. One thing that is confusing me right now is that I don't know how somebody is indisposed. You are sick, you are terribly sick, you can no longer control the affairs of the state, yet you want to remain the governor. I can I just cannot fathom that. I just cannot, you know, explain that. It's just not logical because if it were to be in a Sena climbs, he would have resigned a long time ago as soon as it discovered that his health wouldn't be able to allow him to, you know, run the affairs of his state any longer. He would have, you know, resigned. But here in Nigeria, I don't understand. I just do not understand. And by the way, some people are also asking him, that is Akere Dulu, 
to explain how he spent 700 and something billion naira in a space of a year and not only did he spend those money he did not ask for approval you know before spending the money so they're asking him of course someone who is sick who is indisposed who is you know treating himself for cancer probably had gone through chemotherapy or whatnot he would be, want to use the money of the state you know to treat himself this is a country where people see public offices as you know health insurance you know so they want to get they want to get there so that they can they can use state money they can use the country's funds you know to take care of themselves to to you know to be able to afford the best health care in the world if they want to travel out they can travel out they do all of that at the expense of taxpayers money in the state while still not being able to do the necessary things for the citizens of that state it's just quite unfair and it's selfish very very selfish the same thing that happened during Yaradwa's regime where you know he wasn't feeling well he, he had died in fact Nigerians did not know Nigerians did not know his wife his family members they were trying to hide that fact from people so that he can continue to you know run the government same thing is happening in Dondo, you know, no, in Nondo state right now because Betty Akere Dulu and his son are the ones running the affairs of the state instead of at least handing over to the deputy. What is the deputy for? If the deputy cannot even undo affairs in your absence, please <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense because it's just it's something else. Our politicians, I don't understand. Thieves. They are all thieves, are politicians. It's just so sad. I don't get it. Let me use this uh, minute to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done that. Subscribe and join this amazing community. Like this video. Also leave your comments in the comment section below. Let's share opinions and ideas over there. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Tunji Okoko says... This on those state of assembly people are ah, Momo. It's your job, Tinobu is doing. Adeni Victoria says, Amen, Solomon, wisdom. I pray God heal Governor Akere Doluro Timisan. You will not die but survive and eat the fruit of your labor. Lastly, Christopher says, What is the essence of the constitution then? What is the essence of a constitution or the same question that we all are asking? What's the essence of a constitution? The deputy cannot take over the affairs of the state. The one who is supposed to be the governor of the state cannot do his job. So who are the ones that are going to be suffering? Number one is going to be, you know, living off of taxpayers' money to, to, to pay his hospital bills. Number two, the, the, even the citizens of the state are not going to get the dividends of democracy throughout the rest of his regime so it's the it's the citizens of the states that are losing while he's just there as we go ahead ruling the state from Ibadan. you all let me have your thoughts in the comments section you guys know i don't know much i'm just keeping it real subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that i will see you all in my next video guys bye for now